Oh. <laughs> How has it taken me this long to find out about Bulgarian folk music? Oh my god. Listen to that little, that little thing at the end. <laughs> Listen to that. Dig that! Wow! Ooh, listen to that, there's stuff in there. It's all in there. And then... Oh, wow! Okay, there's so much going on in here. First of all, this choir sounds unreal. The power of their voices, jeez. I completely love this. Now this is what's really interesting about cultural folk music like this, is that I can describe it in music theory terms that we use in Western music. That's not what this is. I can look at that chord. And I can see, okay, well this is an E minor over its fifth, right? So an E minor over B. And I can hear that that D is in there, which tells me we have an E minor seventh chord over E minor's fifth, over B, right? That's what this sounds like to me. But is that how they're thinking of it? Probably not. I look at this and I see an ascending bass line. Right, because we go from B, bring it up to C, and then we have this brief D, and then landing on E. So I see this as like, here's an E minor seventh chord, E minor nine, right, because we have this F sharp, a C major add nine chord, but then that F sharp tra transfers to a F natural. And then this, this just feels like a passing chord, really, but I guess technically you could look at it as D minor. And then just landing on a unison E note. But that's what's fascinating about music like this is that's probably, that's probably not even part of the thought process with how this stuff is composed or how this stuff was originally written. Much of Bulgarian folk music revolves around holidays like Christmas, New Year's, Midsummer, and the Feast of St. Lazarus. Many of these songs stem from women's work parties like the Sedenka, the trothal ceremonies, and just for fun. And the women also had an extensive repertoire of songs that they would sing while working in fields. And that's how we get just absolutely incredible sounding choruses like this. Oh, nice! Beautiful! Again. Now, my music theory brain and my progressive metal obsessed rhythmic mind wants to hear this as like different things like that. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be thought of. Probably not, but it's really cool to feel it that way. Check it out. See, I hear that. Don't know if that's right, but that's what it sounds like to me, and it's insanely cool. Woo! Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold the phone. Been sitting in this E minor kind of feel, and all of a sudden, we just work our way out of it. And here we are. Again, 
we, we entered this space where the harmony sounds a lot like harmony we can decipher and, and explain. And that's, I think in this case, very clearly what they are using. Come on! So after our major section, we work our way back into minor. Yeah! Oh, shit. <laughs> that's not it. Oh, and the vocal inflections with that. Yeah, yeah. We think we're done, but no, you get. Yes! Before we finally leave it on E major. Listen to that again. Oh my goodness. This is some of the most powerful vocal acapella sound that I've ever heard. And a lot of that's driven by the harmony, but most of it's just driven by the absolute power of this group. I can't even wrap my head around it. Right there, we hear a very similar type of sound that we heard. When we switched to major, we got this, this descending harmonic thing. Right? And we hear a similar thing right here. Ooh. Oh. The way the vocal inflections happen. It's not just like a turn or how we would typically hear like a pop singer do it. There's a punch. This there's like a, there's like a expulsion of air. It's fascinating, it sounds so cool, but right there, we get this. Minor four, let's go, let's go. Absolutely beautiful. This is one of their hits. Oh wow. Oh, this is cool. There's a lot of, um... I'm hearing this minor four, quite a bit actually. Seems to be a device that maybe is common in Bulgarian folk music. <laughs> Oh yeah. It feels like so much of the harmony is like so close to the things that we're so familiar with, but then there's those little things that are thrown in there that tell you like, oh no, there's some different scale things happening here. There's some different harmony that is using a little bit more dissonance. And it's subtle, but it's it's just, it's so cool. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god! Wait a second, wait a second. nobody turned this into something that just drops so incredibly hard because that's exactly what this does. I mean the pocket, the groove on this is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be driving down the road with the top down, just blaring this everywhere. I'm gonna pull up the red lights and people are gonna be just confused. <laughs> oh, that's just so perfect. You guys understand? How cool this is. Bulgarian folk music is even aboard the Voyager spacecraft. I forget whether it's one or two, but it's on the golden record as a representation of the sounds of Earth. And can you think of cooler music to demonstrate what Earth is all about. This is a genre of music that we've been obsessed with here in the office for a little bit. We've been checking out a ton of it and I can't get over how cool it is. Hey, check out The Complete Pianist. It's a brand new bundle that we just launched. We took our Piano Jumpstart course and jammed it into our intro package. Now, this is your ultimate piano launch pad. Start out without even having to read any music or knowing any music theory and learn some chord progressions that you can use to unlock thousands of your favorite songs with Piano Jumpstart. And then that'll move you right on into Intro to Piano, which is gonna start to build your fundamental skill set. You'll learn a little bit of reading music, which is way easier than you probably thought. We'll touch on some music theory basics, but most of all, you'll start getting your fingers working, playing two hands together. There's over 140 exercises, it's jam packed, and that'll lead you right into intro to music theory. And that's gonna dive quite a bit deeper into the building blocks of music to help you start putting all the pieces together. And all of this culminates into the step that unlocks complete musical freedom with intro to improvisation. If you've ever wanted to just sit down on the piano and play any anything you want to off the top of your head in real time, that is going to be your ticket to success. All of it's included in the Complete Pianist Bundle, which is available for a limited time. Use the link down in the description to learn more and get lifetime access right now. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We'll see you in the next one.